so spinal cerebellar tract there is two types dorsal and the ventral i am drawing the spinal cord here and you can see the gray matter This is the location of dorsal and ventral sp spinal cerebellar tract. I am drawing the midbrain, the section of the midbrain, the pons and the medulla. From there and finally we have the spinal cord and around we can see the cerebellum the inferior pedangle connects the medulla to cerebellum middle is connected to the pons and cerebellum and the midbrain connects to cerebellum through superior cerebellar pedangle and for dorsal cerebellar tract they comes into medulla then gets into cerebellum this is ipsilateral and ventral cerebellar tract they decussate in within the spinal cord and goes to the midbrain and when it reaches the cerebellum they moves to opposite side that is they also carry the ipsilateral right ventral and dorsal also carries the ipsilateral side information but the ventral cerebellar tract cross over two times within cerebellum ventral spinal cerebellar tract cross over again okay the functions of posterior column sensation carried by dorsal column light touch tactile sensation discrimination local localization conscious proprioception joint position and movement vibration sensation stereognosis pressure sensation within with fine gradations and we can see a homunculi here i am drawing the thalamus from the thalamus the third order neurons get into the cerebral cortex the various regions of the cerebral cortex leg hip trunk neck head arm um, elbow forearm hand fingers thumb eye nose face lip teeth gums jaws tongue pharynx intra abdominal regions we can see a series of faction of specific arrangement this is known as homunculus so alpha beta axons these are comes to uh dorsal root ganglia then comes to the dorsal column they ascend to the brain you can see the dorsal horn intermediate zone and the ventral zone of the spinal cord section and the dorsal column pathway the axons from these first order neurons pass upward in the fasciculus gracilis or fasciculus cuneatus and the dorsal column pathway the second point is the axon from the second order neurons nucleus gracilis or nucleus cuneatus cross to the opposite side of the medulla and ascend to the thalamus through medial lemniscus of the medulla you can see the information from touch receptor and the muscle window and they get into the uh, gra uh, gracilis cuneus and from there through the medial lemniscus tract they reach into the ventro posterior lateral nucleus of thalamus and finally the third order neurons get into cerebral cortex and from the muscle spindle you can see spinal cerebellar tract dorsal spinal cerebellar tract and they get into dorsal horn then ascend through lateral column then they reach into the uh, medulla then 
they cause into cerebellum tracks of the spinal cord we have the gracilis and we have the cuneus and we have the posterior and anterior spinocerebellar tract and the anterior and lateral spinothalamic tract three groups of cells in the posterior horn substantial gelatinous of rolando chief sensory nucleus and the third one is clark nucleus uh, this where the spinocerebellar tract synapse here comes to synapse here okay clark nucleus is specific for spinocerebellar tract right